Now, let's talk about the nature of temptation. Now, I want to go back to our main verse. And this is what I was saying a moment ago. These things come up are just common to being a human. No temptations come upon you except what is common to humanity. And so Paul means by that that they are the reality of living in the flesh. But what I, I, what I want us to understand here is that these things are really human in origin. And in everything that comes, you and I have the power to resist. And God is giving you the power to win. When a temptation comes, you are not a helpless victim. That's what the world says. May I suggest to you this morning that's a lie? You can resist. You can say no. You don't have to give in to the temptation. You have power over it, and the power comes by God. And I want us to understand that it is normal to deal with temptation. Everybody deals with it. Yes, you may have your own individual weakness that makes you more susceptible to some sins than, than others. Some people have a proclivity for alcohol and they have to stay a long, long way away from it. Other people have a proclivity for sex and have to stay and make put in special boundaries or guards for that. You name it, you pick it. Some for its drugs, others it's just an anger issue. It's just all sorts of things. The, the thing I want you to see is we're all dealing with something because it's a part of human life. It should give us comfort though that Jesus dealt with this. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2, he had to be made like his brothers and sisters in every way. Jesus has been there and done that. He faced temptation too. And if you look at the last part of the next verse, here's the promise. He is able to help those who are tempted. So Jesus suffered through the temptations that are common to man, and this is why he's so merciful, because he gets us. He knows what it's like. And I think we need to remember this when we help others who have fallen into sin, because what they're dealing with, we too, maybe it's not that exact thing, but there's something else that we could have fallen in as well. We're all susceptible to temptation.